Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. In this video, I'm going to solve this. First of all, copy this password, open Cloud Console in private window. Then click on next and paste the password. Click on next. Now click on I understand. Wait for a moment. And just wait. And click this checkbox, agree and continue. And now go to tax, click on setup and requirement and just scroll down a little bit and copy this database migration API, this name and come over here and paste on search box and just do it for a moment and right click on it and open it in new tab. And in another side, what you have to do, just activate your cloud shell, maximize it. And now wait for a moment, click on continue. Now go to second tab. And click on this enable option, database migration API. Now wait for a moment. And... Okay, now go to first tab in Cloud Shell and now scroll down. Now copy this first command and come over here, paste it, hit enter. And it's done. Now again, come over here and scroll down. Now copy this second command and paste it in an online notepad. Now we have to edit something. So use online notepad. Don't use your own system notepad. Okay. Now paste the command. Second command. Now for host name, just go to tux and copy this AWS RDS database source. This thing. Copy this one and come over here. And in host name, just select this host name and paste the RDS AWS. Now here you have to just remove this after dot com this colon and from database remove this and in first just remove this colon and MySQL and starting will be QLS ending will be Amazon uh, AWS dot com. Make sure it will like this second command. Okay. Now control A control C. Now paste it in cloud shell. Now hit enter. Okay. Done. Now you can see it provided address now copy this address it will be required in future so paste it in notepad okay so now what we have to do copy, go to next second tab and copy this database migration and paste it in search box and now select this first option cloud sql select this okay now go to tabs and scroll down in tax one copy this first command and go to cloud shell first step paste it hit enter and it's done now copy the second command go to cloud shell paste it hit enter now you have to provide aws access key how can you find in task you can see in the left side, just scroll down this thing and you can see AWS access key. Now copy this access key, AWS access key and come over here and paste it. Hit enter. Now AWS secret key, copy this secret key, last one secret key and paste it. Hit enter. Now for region, go to tax, just scroll down a little bit and in tax one, Third command you can see region provided copy this region don't copy any extra space and paste it in cloud shell hit enter now just hit enter don't put anything fourth option output format don't have to write anything just hit enter one text okay done now go to tax 2 and with tax 2 we have to create a connection profile so for that you have to copy this connection profile name and come over here go to second tab and click on this connection profiles 
okay now click on this create profile now for profile role it will be source and database engine it will be a amazon rds for mysql and now for connection name paste the name over here and id will be automatically generated now for host name go to notepad and copy this host name which we, i have already noted so copy this host name and paste it now port check which port 3306 and copy this username 3306 and paste the username and for password come over here copy this password and come over here paste it okay and it will be no change anything and in region will be just check which region don't change you have to us east one so copy this region and just in filter section paste your region just wait a moment and select your region then encryption type will be none then click on this create option click on got it okay now go to tax and click on tax so now to check my progress just wait for a moment it will take some moments to update it's done okay now task 3 we have to create a migration job so for that copy this job name and come over here and here in database migration click on this migration jobs and click on this create migration job plus icon now for job name paste the name and it will be automatically pitch and now for database it will be amazon rds mysql okay database engine and for region check your region us east one okay us east one check us okay just copy here copy this region and in filter just paste your region and select the region okay now job type will be one time make sure job type will be one time and don't need to change anything just click on save and continue okay now for source connection profile just select and select mysql rds okay and if it's not showing then refresh this page okay now click this save and continue option Okay. now for definition type just come over here and scroll down and just tux 3 just copy this name and just control a control v and for password come over here copy this password don't copy any extra space and then paste the password now database version um, database version will be cloud sql 5.7 and edition will be enterprise edition will be enterprise and cloud mysql 5.7 okay 5.7 and edition will be enterprise and zone will be multiple zone you can see and then it will be public ip connection will be public ip then it will be uh, machine type will be 3.75 gb just check one vp cpu 3.75 gb we want to cpu 3.75 gb and storage will be ssd and storage capacity will be 10 gb let's check storage capacity will be 10 gb okay now click on this save and continue and before this check anything have to change no so continue click on this create destination and continue now connection method it will be ip allow list what we have to do go to tax and just scroll down 
check my progress for task 3 and it will be successfully completed yes now go to task 4 and configure allow list now copy this command first command and go to online notepad now paste the command over here now go to tax now copy this second command aws rds database security group this copy this one and go to notepad now just see paste it in sgid this position just select sdip from the starting to ending this tag now paste the group id okay now what we have to do go to second tab now copy the first ip okay copy this first ip 118 in my case copy the first ip and put it in this a b c d this position select this make sure just see be careful paste it in the position okay it will be like this paste your ip address slash 32 no need to remove 32 okay make sure now just copy whole command this whole command copy this command and go to cloud shell and paste it and hit enter it's done now again go to second tab and copy this second ip address go to notepad now here change this ip change this ip remove and paste the second ip okay now select whole command again copy this command and paste it in cloud shell hit enter just you have to put both ip address one by one okay now done go to tax and we have done this tax check my progress for tax 4 and it will be successfully completed yes done now we will test and our migration job so for that come over here and just click on this save and continue now click on create and start job just click on this create and start job and click on create and start And you can see status is completed and now go to tax just scroll down check my progress for tax 6 and it will be completed now go to tax 7 yeah we completed this lab now in this lab hope so today's video is helpful to you see you next video still later bye bye